Hey bye, Thomas here, and it's been a long, hot day. Heat index of like 106 or something like that. I'm need to say I'm exhausted, but I really want to show you this log right here. This is a maple log that we got out of Tennessee, and I'm not sure what to expect when we open this up. It could be disgusting, it could be beautiful, but it looks gnarly. There are nodules and just I don't know this this whole log looks ridiculous and if you look over here and there's some crap going on and you do have you on this side you do have this the sap on the outside here is looks pretty poor but the heart looks good I, I think I think it's gonna be pretty but I just don't know what to expect out of this nasty looking log I mean it is just disgusting looking <laughs> uh I mean, it. Uh, there is some bug damage here, but I don't know what we're going to find on the inside. I don't see a whole lot of rot or anything on this side. It's just at the other side. It's really, really weird. But um, I don't know, folks. The journey will begin. You can make this journey with me. And we'll see what this disgusting, nasty-looking maple has entailed for us. Stay tuned. Okay, before I put this on the mill, something did catch my eye and glinting in the sun. I turned the camera or the, the log around. So, this section right here, yes, it is a bit punky just above it and below it. But, if you can see that section right there, what that is, is that's the compounding of the sapwood on the outside. And that compounding means there's pressure and stuff in there. And that pressure is where you're going to see a lot of curl and stuff like that. In fact, I'm looking around my yard right now. I've got another tree over here I'll show you that is very similar to that. Just gotta figure out where I put that silly log. <laughs> uh, ah, here it is. So, this is another maple log. And I will show you something similar in, to, in this log as well that's gonna, you know, be very indicative if you have a log that's gonna have a lot of curl and stuff to it. So... All right, so you can kind of see right there, you see those lines that are going down the length of the log or anything? That is indicative of curl. You know, that's on the outside there, you can actually see that. I mean, it's almost like curl on the outside of the log. But there is a section on the other side. You can see a little bit right here. Again, there's some compounding right there. Sorry, my dog just decided to walk right in front of me. And then, always around branches, you'll see right here. This right here is what you want to see. If you see stuff like this on a log, you make sure you do everything you can do to cut this section where you maximize. My dog is right in my face. But um, yeah, this right here is going to have so much curl in it. So much curl in this uh, maple log right here. Ooh, girl. You can see some more right here too. That's what you want to see in a, a maple log or anything. And also, you can see that in some black walnut as well. And we're gonna go over here, show you this black walnut log, which is kind of the same thing. This is a log that came up from, or came down from Tennessee. And as you can see, this section right here as well. See all those lines on the outside of the bark right there? That is going to be curl. This is going to be a high quality log. All that section right there. So, without further ado, we are running out of sunlight. Let's get this nasty, nasty maple log onto the mill and see what she has to offer. Okay, so one of the practices that I usually do is to cut off the nasty side of the log first. Now, on a log like this, everything is nasty. So I'm gonna look for the side that has the most damage or anything. I mean, you've got these. Man, look at this dude. That's one big dude. I ain't gonna eat this dude. I've eaten some other bugs before on the channel, but look at that dude. He is big. 
he is not going to eat any more wood. All right, so we have, we've got a pretty nasty spot right here. Looks like I've got a mold or, yeah, fungus growth on that one side, which I just recently watched a video on Netflix called Fantastic Fungi. Highly recommend that video on Netflix. If you have Netflix, check it out. It's really cool. Uh, it was really interesting for my wife and I to watch. Really cool. But, okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn this log over. We'll get about like this side right here towards the top. And we're going to start cutting. Uh, this is a pretty large log on the base over here. We're talking over 24 inches. It's probably about uh, 19 or so inches on that side. Just rough numbers. Because I never seem to have a tape measure when I need to have my tape measure. So, I'll do a little bit of angle over here. As I turn this, and then we will start looking at the, um, the inside of the wood. Sorry about that. I've got a pile of pine bark right here. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn the log to the right side, and then we'll make our first exploratory cut and see what we find. The mill is warmed up because I've been cutting pine all day. heavy um, and I was cutting a bit quick uh, we'll see I did here put the change to the inside towards the bottom is definitely harder Let's see I can already tell you the, the woods pretty weak and there's a lot of bugs it looks interesting <laughs> You have some spalt. Um, we also have termite damage. <laughs> it looks to be just a little bit here at the base, not a whole lot. I wish we'd found this tree earlier. <laughs> It'll be my first. But uh, on the inside, once we start getting uh, a little bit deeper, we'll see what this actually entails. I'm going to do one more cut on this side here. 
I think what I'm going to have to do, there will be no saving, no live edge cutting on this one. This one will be, we're going for heartwood. And I'm hoping that that curl and that figure and some spalt is on the inside of the wood. That's my hope. So we're throwing a time lapse. We're gonna do a little bit of cutting here real quick. Uh, speed it up so this doesn't take too terribly long. And we'll see what she has to offer. All right, we've got a 16 by, I don't know, 14 or something like that can't right now. And I've been telling you, I've been doing exploratory cuts. I may have finally found something that's usable out of this log. But I'm not gonna show you yet because I've gotta get a little more off on the sides to really show you what's on the inside. Cause uh, it's unique, I'll say that. It is very unique. So I gotta take a little more off on the two sides and then we'll see what we get to. folks so some of y'all might think I'm absolutely crazy for doing this but I'm probably gonna keep this as a mantle I've been cutting off a number of five quarter boards but I just this thing is screaming make me into a mantle finish me up real nice and find me someone that's gonna love this mantle so I'm gonna do one more cut off the top here I'm at nine and a half inches or so wide and I'm gonna bring it down to probably uh, something that looks good. So I might come down about an inch and a half from where I am currently, like where it is built right there. Down here at the bottom, which makes sense, there's some bug damage, so I'm gonna have to get the chainsaw to cut this, but yeah, this let's, let's finish this last cut and then we're gonna do some revealing because you are gonna be amazed how much junk came off this log, but how much good there still is inside of it.
again, miserably hot today. I'm soaked. I've been cutting quite a bit today. I think I put like three or four hours on the well, four hours in the middle, something like that. Yep. Uh, very happy with that decision. So we need to do some revealing. And this mantle, it okay, the pith is centered in it. So drying this may be a little bit difficult, but it's pretty. It's real pretty. And I can see I would use this as my face, and I'll show you why here in just a second. But uh, yeah, a lot of work to get to the inside. And unfortunately, we had a lot of waste on this, but that's part of it. Um, and all this waste that came off, it is definitely waste. It's There's nothing salvageable in that. That one slab there, there might be a little bit at the end. We'll see. But uh, let's let's go ahead and do the reveal. So I'm gonna get these out to the side and we'll get some water and throw it on there. All right, folks, now for the reveal. I'm gonna try to do this. I've got a customer that's gonna come in here in any second. And we'll do a close up here. But uh, yeah, a lot of these boards were cut five quarters. I'm liking what I'm seeing, especially on these that large slab there. Oh. This one I think is going to be gorgeous. Yes, it is. This one I'm not expecting a whole lot from it. It's not bad. But there was a lot of junk inside of this wood. All the bug damage or anything. But what I'm really impressed with are these sections right here. Again, miserably hot day today. Very, very hot. <sighs> Let's see. Let me get this out of here. It's going to be a little bit loud just for a second. There we go. Sorry about that. So, take a look at all that curl there. That is quite impressive. See, these things just look beautiful. Look at all this right here. That's gonna be beautiful. I think that's just like one of my favorite boards right there. I think I cut that one at two inches. Cut that one at two inches thick. And then these other smaller boards are at five quarter. These are what we had in there, all those little grub things. But this board actually, that one and that one are really nice. Again, we got this log from a guy who was gonna burn it and I said, well, hey, wait a second. There's too much happening on the outside. Let me just see if I can salvage anything out of the center. And I think we did a good job. This bottom one, I'm not even worried about that one right now, but this mantle piece, this, folks, is going to be a gorgeous mantle this is gonna be cool and really the other side I think will even be better Let's see if I can turn this over one-handed yeah let me get some water on that as well in one second see I'm using the finest watering system there is an aluminum pot <laughs> All right. There we go, folks. How would you like that? That's a mantelpiece. Just that's beautiful. There's lots of curl going on in there. All these crazy like almost like burl sections all across the front face. This is definitely what I'd use as the front face. You can see a curl section all through here. I think it's going to be pretty. Unfortunately, I'll have to cut off here, see how bad the bug damage is, and we'll see how drying goes. But I think I have a good six foot right there. That's going to be a beautiful mantle. I I think this is going to be my, one of my better looking mantles that I'll make. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed this video. It is different. Look at that. That's pretty wild. But uh, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So, 
All right, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. I don't know what my phone is doing. There we go. And uh, we'll see you around. Thanks.